Hello everyone, welcome again, and this is the introduction of ReactJS. What is ReactJS? It is a JavaScript library for building user interface and is created by Jordan Walk, a software engineer at Facebook. It is used at Facebook and Instagram. What is ReactJS? It also uses Virtual DOM. React is B in MBC. MBC means Model View Controller. It will update in real time without refresh the browser, just like Ajax. And React GS site is Facebook.github.io React. Before taking this, you should know HTML and CSS3, JavaScript. Basic Node.js And that's it guys. See you guys in my next lesson. Thank you. Hello everyone. Welcome again. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to download text editor with Hello World app using React. We will be using Sublime Text. Let's go to sublimetext.com And here, you can click the download button. And if you can choose OS X, Windows, 64 bit, Ubuntu, or 32 bit, you can choose and click that. Click that and then install next, 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 and we're done. Next, let's download the React.js. Let's go to facebook.github.io, then React. Enter. And then let's go to our here version 15.4. Next, here download the zip. You can choose star or zip. And then let's show in the folder extract here. Next, let's go to here and build. Let's copy the React mean and React domain copy this and next let's create let's create a folder react in the desktop and then here let's create a folder again then type js and paste it here next let's open our sublime here i open the folder react in the desktop react then next is let's create a new file then B let's see it as basic react dot html basic react c1 at html next type doc type html html head head then body body then html next here type div id container div next here is script source script and then gs dot mean dot gs let's copy this and put it here let's add dom react dom mean dot gs next here our code script then script then re react dom dot render then here will be react dot create element then h1 then null then here is hello world and 
let's see it next let's run our basic react zero one let's go here uh, here let's run open with google chrome oops new page source oops i'm back there's an error in our code oh i forgot document that get element by id then container then save it next the pressure browser and hello world that's it guys this is the code of simple hello world in react react you must use you must have react mean and react dom and that's it guys see you guys in my next lesson thank you Hello everyone, welcome again. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to use Element DOM app in React. First, um, I copy this code. This is our default code in, ev in our every project. And then next, let's start. Let's go here, script. Then script. Then next here is bar element equals to react that create element then here will be each one then null then hello world next here react dom dot render element then document dot get element by id then container next here okay, in cbit next let's run our code go to our here basic create open with google code and here that's it guys working this is the c the basic react dom element dom app in react and that's it guys see you guys in my next lesson thank you hello everyone welcome again in this tutorial i will teach you how to create a real-time app in React. First, I copy our previous code, our default code. Then here, at the script, tag, type, bar, element, equals to react, that, create, element. Then here, here will be deep, then null 
next will be the time now is next is new new date the to local time string then this next close next here right up Doom the render element document that get element by ID and container next is I forgot here type function let's put it in the function function time then set interval time then 1000 and then we're done let's save it as basic react 03.xml enter it will call the function time at set interval here and the time is now and then this next let's run our code let's go to our basic open with go chrome and see two pictures oops time wrong view inspect there's an error here Function time false element did null new date to local time string and this and this Actum the trender element get my ID. Let's copy this. Oh, we have an error here. I will remove this. See it next. Uh, refresh and it's working and the, the time is now is here then let's see in page source and inspect body container and it's working this is the code our code 1029 and that's guys see you guys in my next lesson thank you hello everyone welcome again in this tutorial i will teach you how to create a basic component in react we will be using react main and react tom javascript then let's create a function here at script type function cars list then return react that create element then here will be h2 null car brand then list that brand then function output then return react that create element
Then here will be Tib Null Then here create that create element Cars Then brand Toyota Then let's copy this Two three Oops and then change this to Mazda then here will be Mazda then Hyundai I will remove this next let's go at the bottom type react dom dot render react dot create element output null document dot get element by id container then save it as basic react zero four dot html enter Next, let's run our code. Let's open. Then it's working. Car brands Toyota, Mazda, and Hyundai. Mm. It will echo this car brand, the list brand. The list brand is here. Brand. And that's it, guys. See you guys in my next lesson. Thank you. Hello everyone, welcome again. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to how to use React conditional in React. Uh, we will be using our previous code React min that JS and React Pro. Next, I created a paragraph ten plus five because we will determine if it is correct. It's just only a conditional. Then let's create a function first. I will name the function is correct then sum then we return the app that create element then here will be each one then null it is correct Next will be function wrong sum here here will be return react that create element then each one null then here it it is wrong. Next, here will be the result. Let's create a function. Result sum bar addition equals sum that addition. Next is if addition let Turn react that create element correct null. Then here will be return react that create element wrong null. Next here be react dom that render then here we build up that create element result addition equals to true oops i forgot this and here 
document element by id container and it's done let's see it as basic react.05.html enter next let's run enter and let's see the error is not a function line 39 pattern create give it refresh and it's working it's correct 10 plus 5 is equals 15 if you change this to false this result will be it is wrong and that's it guys see you guys in my next lesson thank you hello everyone welcome again in this tutorial i will teach you how to use ordered list in react we will be using react main js and react go here at the bottom script then type bar let there's equals to a b c d e f then g next here bar let equals to let there's that map function letters then return react that create element then li then null then letters next here uh, oops next here type react dom that render react that create element then ol run then let then doc moment that get element by id container and see it I'll see the basic react 06.html enter. Let's run. Click the basic. Let's see the error. I think there's an error. Line 17. Oops. Must this then save it refresh again line 17 letters that map function letters here at bar let's see bit refresh function line 18 create element element only small letter L then refresh and it's working A B C D E F G and that's it guys see you guys in my next lesson thank you hello everyone welcome again and this story, this is the introduction of node.js
What is Node.js? It is an open source, cross-platform JavaScript runtime environment for developing a diverse variety of tools and applications. Although Node.js is not a JavaScript framework, many of its basic modules are written in JavaScript, and developers can write the new module in JavaScript. The runtime environment interprets JavaScript using Google's V8 JavaScript engine. What is Google V8 JavaScript engine? V8 is a Google open source high performance JavaScript engine written in C++ and used in Google Chrome. The open source browser from Google it implements ECMA script as specified in ECMA 265. And Node.js advantage web development in dynamic language on VM that is the incredible pass it is much faster than Ruby, Python, or Perl, which evaluate code passed to it. Ability to handle thousands of concurrent connections with minimal overhead on a single process. Functional API. And the course requirement here is the basic JavaScript and the HTML, CSS. And that's it, guys. See you guys in my next lesson. Thank you. Hello everyone, welcome again. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to download the Node.js. First, let's go to the node.js.org. Enter. Then, click the download. I'll download. If you're using Windows, Macintosh, and Linux here. I will be using uh, Windows. I will use 32 bit installer. Your Macintosh, so I'll go ahead in Macintosh. And when you're done, download, just enter the installer and here, here. Welcome to Node.js and click next, click next and then accept the license agreement and then next. And then if you want to change the folder location of Node.js, it's up to you and then click next and next then install and when, when we're done and finish you're done and next let's see if we node ds node ds here you will see this the node js and that's it guys see you guys in my next lesson thank you Hello everyone, welcome again and in this tutorial I will teach you how to download Babel and and then create a hello world app using Babel. Let's go to our git. Make you can use command prompt or git. Then let's go to our folder cdc users then desktop then the name of the folder app and enter next type npn install c bubble stand alone enter let's wait and we're done next let's go to our folder get the minimized version of bubble copy and paste it in your js folder next let's go to our code Let's copy our previous code, then create a new file. I will remove this, our previous code. Then here, copy this. Change it to Babel. Then here will be car. Set UTF-8. 
then here script type text bubble next is react tom render then h1 hello world h1 then document that get lm element by id container then save it as babel 01.hm enter next let's run run babel sc document get element oops i'm wrong here it should be small letter enter save it and it's, and it's working that's it guys this is the hello world of babel and see you guys in my next lesson thank you Hello everyone, welcome again, and in this tutorial, I will teach you how to use props in React. First, I we will copy our previous code, bubble 01, then let's create a new file. Then, I will remove this. Next, type here, bar, big C, A, R, equals react.create plus. Then here will be render function, then return h1 my car brand is this props that brand, then h1 next here at the bottom right right up dom dot render 
then big C car brand equals to Toyota then this next is document that get element by id container then let's see it as babel 02.xm enter next let's run our code and it's working my car band is toyota here the brand it will call the brand the value of brand is toyota will be brand please and that's it guys see you guys in my next lesson thank you hello everyone welcome again and in this tutorial i will teach you how to use default properties in react i will copy our previous code then i will remove this next here type par hello equals to the app at create class then here will be get default props function return greet then hello world next here will be render function return each one then this dot props dot grid then each one then this next is here react dom dot render hello document dot get element by id then container then cb as babel 07 dot teacher enter next let's run and it's working hello world our default props is working hello grid props and that's it guys see you guys in my next lesson thank you hello everyone welcome again and in this tutorial i will teach you how to use state object in react I copy the previous our previous code here in the ref min dom and babel. Then here at babel time bar hello equals to react that create class then this next here type get initial state function then next here will be return three things then hello world next here will be render function return h1 this dot state dot greetings then close tag each one each one and then this next here react dom dot render big h hello then document that get element by id container 
and cbit as babel 0.8 enter next let's run our code and it's working hello world let's see it will get the get initial state greetings greetings here the value is hello world it will put it here then it will call in in the container here at the container and that's it guys see you guys in my next lesson thank you hello everyone welcome again and in this tutorial i will teach you how to use on click event handling in react next let's go to our script tag then here type bar hello equals to react that create class then here will be greetings function then alert this that props the details next is render function return h rep equals to on click equals to this that greetings then click me next is react dom dot render hello details equals to hello world next is document that get element by id container and cbit as babel zero pi dot hm and let's run and when you click and it will pop up the value of hello world details here details and greetings is and that's it guys see you guys in my next lesson thank you hello everyone welcome again and in this tutorial i will teach you how to create an increment application using react i copy our previous code this is our default code then here at script type text bubble type bar big letter p then equals to react that create class then here will be get initial state function then here will be return total zero then here will be class one function Then here with this that set state total this that state that total plus one. Then next here I type render function. Return the button type equals to button then on big C click equals to this dot big letter P plus one 
then this next is plus what and button next will be h2 total is that state that total then h2 then the next is this and this next is uh, uh, dom that render plus the document that get element by id container and save it as for bell 09 dot xml enter next let's run Abel 09 let's see the error plus oops there's a plus here let's see bit refresh and swiping let's see you click total one two three four five six and that's it guys it's working when you click plus one the total value will be plus one here plus one it will call the plus one. and the total the default total value is zero and this initial and that's it guys see you guys in my next lesson thank you hello everyone welcome again and in this tutorial i will teach you how to use conditional statement in react first i will copy our previous code and create a new file i will remove this then here at script type function then system then os then here is const operating system equals os dot operating system then if operating system oops if operating system return each one you choose windows then each one next here will be else return each one you choose linux then each one and here next oops later next here i play up dom that render then system then operating system equals to pulse then document that get element by id container and save it as babel 03.hm enter next let's run and it's working guys and it's working next if you change this to true it will change to windows see it called the function system then the operating system equals true the value is true if the value is true then choose windows and if it is false it is linux and that's it guys see you guys in my next lesson thank you hello everyone welcome again and in this tutorial i will teach you how to use basic list component in react and then let's go here at i copied our previous code then here at script tag type function car list then this 
then cons cars equals to this dot cars then cons this cars equals to cars dot map branch and then here will be li branch then li next is return ul these cars ul then here cons cars equals to toyota mazda suzuki then react dom the trender car this then cars cars then document that get element by id container and see bit as bobel she read the teacher enter and let's run let's see the error there is an error here at the bottom Oops, I forgot the equal sign and see it. Refresh and it's working. Toyota Mazda and Suki. And that's it, guys. See you guys in my next lesson. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Welcome again. And in this tutorial, I will teach you how to use parent component in React. I copy our, our default code here and let's go to the script. Type bar name equals to react that create class. Then here will be render function return tib this dot props dot pull name then div create a space here next will be bar hello equals to react that create class We'll put this next is get initial state function then return your name I will put Michael Jordan this next is this next type render function return div each each one this dot props dot output next is each one Next is big name, pool name. This that state your name. The name. Next is deep. Next 
next will be here at the bottom okay up from the trend hello or both equals to hello hello world then document that get element by id container and save it as bubble then that each other and then then let's run let's see the error Uh, we'll remove this see bit refresh again and it's working hello world michael jordan the name of your name it will call the default parent initial michael jordan then next is output hello world the output here and here hello world we'll call the output and that's it guys see you guys in my next lesson thank you hello everyone welcome again and in this tutorial i will teach you how to use rep attributes what is rep attribute the rep attribute takes a callback function and callback will be executed immediately after the component is mounted or unmounted next is i copy our previous code here and then let's go to the script tag then here will be bar hello equals to react that create class then here will be click function const result equals to this that reps that cars that value then alert result next is here render function then return the each for what car brand do you want next input type text rep cars input type button value submit on click this that click next will be here div oops equals the input then here will be the oops later next let's go here oops should be this and then this here at the number up dome dot render hello document that get element by id container and see it as 
bobbin 11.7 enter let's see let's work let's try let's see again the error Dib. there's wrong here mm -hmm. Dib. I will put this CV to refresh there's an error again oh, I forgot the error in this I forget this CV refresh and it's working next let's try what car brand do you want I will type Toyota then submit Toyota and it's working it will get the value of cars and put it in alert here cars value and this is it guys see you guys in my next lesson thank you hello everyone welcome again and in this tutorial i will teach you how to use inline style in react go to our code here our basic code next here type here bar hello equals to react dot create plus and here will be render function bar bg color equals to brand equals to back um, color equals to green next is bar f color equals to color white next here at turn Dib style equals to BG color. Next is H4 style equals to F color. Then hello world H4 Dib then oops change this to this and this and here at the bottom react dome dot render hello document dot get element by ID container and see it as Babel 13.html. Let's run and it's working. Hello world. The background color BG will be green and the white and the font color is white. Hello world, white and just guys. See you guys in my next lesson. Thank you. Hello everyone, welcome again. And in this tutorial, I will teach you how to create the on chain stack form application using React. We copy our previous code, then here, let's go here at script tag, type bar, hello equals to react.create class. Next is get initial state function and here will return want next is text change 
function store then this is this that set state want result that target that value then render function return feed next is p what do you like input type text on change equals to this dot text change dot bind this then this next is h3 result this dot state that want result h3 and div and here at the bottom right up dom dot render hello document dot get element by id container then see it as babel 12.html by html only next let's run babel oops babel 12 what do you like I like ice cream. And it's working, guys. I will explain. The default value of want is empty. Initial state, then when you type in text box, it will on change the text change the value of want to the value of text box and that's it guys it will set speed and that's it guys see you guys in my next lesson thank you hello everyone welcome again and in this tutorial i will teach you how to use on change disable button when when empty let's copy our previous code create a new file then i will remove this we don't need this then here at the script tag, type bar hello equal to react that create it plus. Then here will be get initial state return full name is empty next is changes e this that set state full name e that tar get that value next is render Return deep H2. What is your name? Deep H2. Close tag H2. Then input name equals to full name. Then value will be this that state that full name then on big letter c change equals to this that changes then this next is input type button 
disabled this stated pool name then value will be submit next di next is div then here react dom dot vendor hello and document that get element by id container and save it as babel 14 that is it enter next let's run and what is your name michael joran oops there's an error inspect empty you it's working guys if if we put a value here the submit button will be disabled if it is empty it will be it will not be disabled and that's it guys see you guys in my next lesson thank you